What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sheree. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every Sunday at 11 a.m., we're coming at you guys to help you guys out with the best tips, tricks, and things that are going to hopefully take your relationship to the next level in all ways, shapes, and forms. And don't worry, if you're not in a relationship, you can use these things for your future relationship to make sure that you're set up for success across the board. So this week, we're gonna cover a couple things that I think all go together and that are all very important for yourself and for your relationship. Right, Cherise? Of course. So we're gonna go over three things that are very important. These three things, mental health, physical health, and sexual health. And all three of these work systemically together, right? So they all go together um, and they all play a big role in your life and quality of life each and every day. And you might not even know about it. So let's talk about some of these prime examples of these three main things of your health. So the first one. Don't be crazy. Oh, so I, I guess that's what, mental health? Is that what you're saying? That's say? mental health. Don't be crazy. So, so, so mental health. Don't be crazy. I guess that's a little vague though, right? When we're talking yeah, about I guess, this. I, I, I could probably pinpoint some things, but yeah. Don't go crazy and don't get crazy. Yeah. Um, the big one about this too is, um, you know, having you know, a good awareness about yourself, being confident in yourself and not being down or depressed. This is where mental health really comes into play. And we have a lot of people nowadays that really do suffer from mental health issues. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a fact. Even with the pandemic and everything that went on, yeah. just increased. It really has these made, made it worse, you know, because a lot of people are locked inside, or a lot of people. Big one now is people are working remotely, right? Yep. And everybody thinks that, that that's like a grand thing to do. But now you're not around coworkers all day. You're not really intermingling with other people, whether it's good or bad, because we all know that workers, it could be great, or oh, yeah. you know, you might want to bite their face off, whatever <laughs> it might be, right? But you're still having communication and kind of just talking it out. You might even vent to one of your coworkers or something, but you're kind of like, you know, in a little bubble and the bubble isn't always good to just be alone in the bubble all the time right. or, you know, just be cooped up. My mom would say, I mean, we're really made to be social people, right. And to socialize and interact with people. Um, so this is a big one. And, you know, with mental health, you know, we might not know somebody suffering from mental health issues because a lot of people try to cover it up. And there's a lot of people that are on antidepressants these days. And you might not even know somebody's going through something with mental health issues, you know, until you really ask, or maybe they, there's a cry for help in some way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of people that deal with these things uh, end up committing suicide or committing negative acts that can affect them and other people that are around them. So it's a really big thing. And if you are suffering from mental health issues, please go get help. There's plenty of people out there that you can talk to and try to, you know, see if you can get some help in a positive light. And that's what your partner should be there for too as well. Mm -hmm. So if you're somebody's partner, you should be worrying about helping them out and raising them up. It's not about dragging them down too either. So when you have a partner, you want to make sure that you're looking out for their mental health because this will ultimately could affect your relationship. Mm -hmm. It can affect the, how they are. Um, so at that point, you want to make sure that, listen, both of you guys are on the up and up. And if you see your partner getting down, or there's a bad day, because we all have bad days, right? Mm -hmm. That's your cue as a partner, a good partner, to step in and raise their spirits up. Make them feel better about themselves. Take them out and do something. You know, maybe get, if it's, a, you know, my wife or something mm -hmm. like that, I might give her some roses, you know, take her out to dinner, do something yeah. really nice for her, you know, to make her know that, A, I care, and two, raising her spirits up and morale. Honestly, you know what John does sometimes because we're too busy for dinner sometimes. Uh-huh, mm, that helps too. Um, but we're too busy for a lot of things sometimes. 
be believe it or not right uh-huh. he sometimes gives me this really big bear hug and he does it for an extra like 10 seconds which makes me feel extra warm and fuzzy right. and he's like it's gonna be okay and does this thing with he rubs my shoulders like that and he's like it's gonna be all right just calm down calm down it's okay and it kind of just you know i don't know if it's just maybe his energy that rolls off on me i do eventually calm down that does help me calm down a little bit more you know so it could be something as simple as that believe it or not you know some sort of physical touch or like a hug or a kiss or whatever it might be. I mean, you may not be able to like afford to go somewhere or you might not have the time to go somewhere or you might have not have a babysitter to do something. So believe it or not, the little things, I always say the little things in life that count, those are the little things that count and absolutely. they mean something. Absolutely. So show affection to your partner. Yeah. Make sure you support them and make sure they're on track for good mental health. That's one aspect. Now the second one, physical health. So physical health is not just about putting on muscle mass, Going right? to the gym. Yeah, going to the Rah. gym, right? Physical health is a lot of different <laughs> things, and it covers a wide spectrum of different activities. So physical health, obviously, you know, you want to be able to be able to do some sort of ex- exercise, activity, or stretching even, like yoga, right? This is good physical activity too as well, or even walking down the street, power walking, jogging, whatever it may be. But you're stimulating your body, right? and you're making sure that your body's in good physical shape. We know that if you keep in action, right, if you keep doing things and progressively not stopping, then you're more likely to have a better life as far as that goes physically. Uh, if you sit there and like, let's say, you know, people that are dying, they lay in bed the whole time. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like you lay there and you, you know, you wither away and you die. Mm-hmm. Think about a car, you know, you always want to start them up and run them. If you don't start them up and run them, they sit there and everything starts breaking down after that. So good physical health is about doing some sort of activity or exercise. And like I said, it doesn't need to be you lifting a whole bunch of weights in the gym. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Me personally, I, my, my physical health, you know, if I wanna do something, just cause you know, I wanna feel good about myself too, right? Of course. Uh, and obviously if you, you know, look good, you usually will feel good about right. yourself and you'll eventually give that off to your partner too which we'll get to next in sexual health, yeah. right? But you want to feel good about yourself. So me personally, because I'll tell you guys what I like to do, and it doesn't require a gym, but I like my booty band, right? Because it's easy, right? I just put on the little booty band thing. I could be watching TV, and I'm just doing a bunch of little squat things, and the next thing you know, for the weekend, my butt looks great. Yeah. I mean, it looks great. So yes, it and does. It's easy. <laughs> And it's easy to do, right? But I mean, it's just, I like to bring up the simple things that you can do. And it could be anything. Maybe you just do some sit ups or you do some, you know, I don't know, maybe some whatever it is in your room, you know? You don't have to necessarily even go to a gym, right? Walk your dog around the block, get smell some fresh air. You'd be surprised how how much it does for you. All right. So, and this goes right along with the mental health, a healthy body is a healthy mind, okay? So let's get to the last one sexual health. And these three things, they, they basically are building blocks together. You build them up and you'll get a, a better building per se, right? If you're building that, but sexual health. So this goes right along with mental, because it's gonna help mental health and it's definitely gonna help physical health along with sexual health. And this is having a good sex life, right? Um, and this is with your partner or even by yourself, whatever it may be, you have, you know, you have a healthy sexual <laughs> function, right? So that means being able to perform and for guys this is one way and females it's another but it goes right along with this and uh if your sexual health's not there this could ultimately affect mental health issues it can make you feel down about things like i'm not good enough what's wrong with me whatever it may be right and physical health right if you're not able to perform then obviously something physical is going on in the body that you need to correct or see what is going on Mm -hmm. and um, like i said if you have good mental health and good physical health you're probably going to have good bedroom sexual health mm-hmm. um, at that point. And if you have problems in any of these areas, they could be fixed most likely. This could be hormones. This could be a whole bunch of different things. A lot of times it is hormones. And it is a pretty easy fix once you get to the bottom of it and get dialed in. Yeah. And you'd be surprised. I mean, I would, for females just alone, postmenopausal females out there, I mean, it, it's very common, but they have vaginal dryness. Oh, yeah. And vaginal dryness it's not gonna feel good for intercourse. I mean, it's a fact. No, no. And that's just something just something simple. Same thing for guys. No you know? sandy beaches. No sandy beaches for us, unless you wanna go to St. Petersburg, Clearwater. <laughs> um, but even the same thing for guys, right? Yeah. If you have low T, yeah. run around thinking you're okay. Yeah. Um, next thing you know, you can't perform in the bedroom, can't get an erectile, you know, erection. erection going on yeah. per se. 
So, you know, it's important. Oh, you're Every running day. out of breath. You're like, oh, 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 you, you act like you're going to die. So, <laughs> you guys, take these three tips. Make sure you're not just worrying about your physical health, but mental health and sexual health as well. So that's completed the show this week. We want to thank you guys for tuning in to another Cupid's Corner. And if you guys didn't watch it live, make sure you DVR it. Beep. Or go to YouTube and check out Titan Medical Center and see all these great episodes and more great content from me and Sharice and all the Titan crew here. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.